what's going on youtube it's your girl megan and i'm back again with another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can unlock all of these takeover perks and your mama mentality in one day so for the first three perks like you got the minimizer perk all you have to do is go to the art of shooting facility and earn three stars you do the little drill and that's all you gotta do is real easy to get for the sponge perk, all you have to do if you're playing the street ball games, recruit three street ball bosses to your team, and it's fairly easy to do. The further you progress through the street ball games and beat more of the people, you'll be able to equip the bosses and put them on your team. Now for the decelerator perk, all you have to do is head over to the Chris Brickley gym on one of the days it's open. And you gotta play the 3v3 scrimmage and the 5v5, and you'll get the decelerator perk. Now the first three perks, those are pretty fairly easy to get, but after that, you gotta start putting in a little work. After you unlock those three, then you can start working on your saboteur perk. And if you need a method on how to get the saboteur perk, I just dropped a video on how to get there. So please make sure you check that video out. Now let's get into how to unlock the rest of these takeover perks. First thing first, let's talk about the mama mentality badge and the second chance takeover perk. Now to get the second chance takeover perk, all you have to do is accumulate like 50 stat points. That's talking about with you scoring the ball, getting steals, rebounds, assists, everything counts as this. It just has to be a total of 50 in the Brickley Gym. You have to play it in the Chris Brickley Gym whenever he's hitting you up about playing these scrimmages or whenever the gym is available and open to you. I believe the Chris Brickley Gyms open up every three days. Be on the lookout for that. But once you do that, once you accumulate the 50 total stat points from the Chris Brickley Gym, it's going to give you the second chance takeover perk and you'll unlock Mamba Mentality. Mama Mentality this year, it gives you a boost to all of your attribute categories. So that's going to be giving you like plus 10 to all of your attribute categories. Finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense, and your physical stats as well. That is crazy. So Mama Mentality actually is going to replace your double takeover. And you're actually going to be able to see in this video, in this sped up gameplay that I have in the background, you're actually going to see Mama Mentality replace my double takeover so be on the lookout for that and that's how it's going to look once you get it so it's going to replace your double takeover and it's just going to have the mama mentality badge and once you activate it you instantly feel the difference so as you can see right there once i got that like last rebound that's when my double takeover instantly changed to the mama mentality badge or whatever so that's how it looks And that's pretty much how you're going to know when you complete the quest whenever you're doing these Crips Brickley Gems because it's going to change right there for you in game. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm heading back outside now. Got a loading screen. And then bam, you see quest completed. Mama mentality. And it also is going to prompt you for the extender takeover perk. Because once you unlock a certain amount of takeover perks, by this point in the video, I had already unlocked my saboteur. I just got my second chance. So that was a total of five takeover perks that I had at the time. And so once you get to five, then you get, it prompts you to get extender. So right here, I'm just showing you guys what takeover perks I have unlocked already. And then you can see at the top, it says, congratulations, you should unlock Mama Mentality. So as of now, I have Saboteur, Second Chance, Sponge, Minimizer, and Decelerator. Okay, so that's the five takeover perks that you need to be prompted to get Extender, okay? Now, after you get prompted to get Extender, it's gonna pop up another little quest. So you have to go talk to an NPC and he's gonna tell you exactly what you need to do so you can get the Extender perk. For the extender perk, all you have to do is get 75 assists. You can either do that on the street ball courts, which I'm going to do and show you how I did it, or you can do it in the park. The good thing about when you grind for these takeover perks, you can do these all at the same time, and it doesn't matter what build that you're on, if you already have multiple builds, all of the progress and stuff transfers over to build to build. So in this gameplay right here, I'm showing you guys my way of getting the stay warm perk to get this perk all you have to do is attempt six field goals that's six baskets right six baskets and obtain an 80 percent field goal percentage while you're doing that and you have to do that a total of 10 times 
So with these street ball courts, you can match yourself up against whoever you want and you can pick whoever you want to be on your team. What I would do is I'm on a center build. And so for this perk in particular, I would make myself go up against Disco and his team. They have the very small lineup. They're all point guards, like itty bitty point guards. And I would just post them up and score in the paint. So that was pretty much the end of that game right there and this is me unlocking the stay warm perk and after I unlocked this perk then it prompted me to unlock the juice perk because now we're at perk number six that we have officially unlocked so once you get to six then you get prompted to unlock the juice perk that's how this thing works with the takeover perks they build off of each other all right, so now this is pretty much what the board looks like. Like I said, you can pick and choose your team. You can switch around the lineup. You can change around who you want to guard or who you want certain people on your team to guard. All that good stuff is basically set up for you to get these perks or get your badges, however it is you want to do it. Okay, so now we're going to get into my method on how to get the extender perk. Remember, the extender perk, you have to get 75 assists. And the best way to do that, we're going up against Disco and his team again. They are the smallest lineup. Like I said earlier, they're all small point guards. And I always like to pick 5-0 to be on my team and Rodden Rodney. Simply because 5-0 is an all-around bucket. And Rodney, you know he is a lob threat. All he do is dunk the ball and he can catch lobs from anywhere. So basically what I do is straight up pick and roll and it is unguardable. They cannot do anything about it. They're too small to defend it. I just hold L1 down, call for the screen. As soon as they cut, double tap triangle, throwing the ball in the air. Whatever you throw up, Rodney is going to catch. And when you're working on these perks, you, to be honest, you don't necessarily have to play defense if you don't want to. Unless you're working on a perk that requires you to play defense. Like doing this method, you're easily going to be getting anywhere from 8 to 10 assists a game. And you're going to be racking up on VC and badge progression when it comes down to your playmaking badges like your special delivery. Playing a lot of these street ball quests is honestly how I got a lot, a lot of VC. I have racked up on a lot of VC and some badge progression just by trying to unlock these perks. But it's just the same thing over and over and over. You call for the screen as soon as they roll, double tap triangle every time. They're gonna catch it. So at the end of that game right there, I finished up with nine assists. And at the end of this one right here, this is when I actually unlocked the perk. As you can see, we now have extender. And we just got prompted for the accelerator perk. And now to get the accelerator perk, you gotta go talk to ATM. That's the NPC you have to talk to. And after you talk to him, he's gonna let you know what you gotta do to get the accelerator perk. Now for accelerator, all you have to do is unlock every other takeover perk 
to get it like as you can see right there it says we have seven out of nine unlocked once you get that ninth one unlocked you're automatically going to get accelerator you can also keep track of all of these quests so you can see your progression as you can see to the left side of my screen i was tracking the suppressor quest suppressor was probably one of the trickiest takeover perks for me to get because of the fast break defense one i already had the 50 well defended shots but trying to get those 50 fast breaks well defended was taking me through there i'm not gonna lie but i figured out the best way to do it is going up against the captain and his team because they're all two ways they're all two ways and so to get this takeover perk my method is to purposely throw turnovers i still play with 5-0 and riding rodney on my team because they're still going to be able to jump up there and catch those lobs but what i do is purposely throw turnovers and these are you remember the captain and his team they're all two ways they're all two ways so i just throw lobs either i throw them in traffic or i'm just throwing them up there and i just hope and pray that one of them actually catch it you want them to catch it so you can run back and defend the fast break on time and so what i try to do is as soon as i get them in a good like catch animation out my turnover like i throw it up and they catch it i run back as soon as i possibly can and i just don't give up no fast break point you just want to guard the fast break you want to contest everything you don't let them get no bucket off the fast break and that's how you want to get credit towards it you purposely throw turnovers and you hurry up and get back you just have to guard everybody Alright, so now we have the suppressor perk and now the only thing we have to do is unlock the juice perk and that's going to give us accelerator and only thing you have to do for the juice perk is win games at the street ball court or at any park you have to win 20 games and that's easy you just have to win these street ball park games are not hard at all so after this game right here, this was my 20th win and you're going to see me unlock the juice perk and also the accelerator perk. Because right after you unlock juice or all the other takeovers is going to automatically give you accelerator. there you have it we have unlocked all the takeovers and that's how you get the accelerator perk so that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope i help you guys out make sure you share this video with a friend share my channel with a friend make sure you like up the video subscribe to the channel if you are new don't forget to hit that notifications bell and be sure to check out my live streams on twitch check the links in the description below all of my links are in the description below you got all my socials the discord link thank you guys so much for watching i'm out